Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to handle a rejected promise with catch. Uh, catch is the method used when your promise has been rejected. Oh, in the previous one I said you could use then on this one. We want to use catch for rejected uh, functions. It is executed immediately after a promise's reject method is called. Here's the syntax. So my promise dot catch error, do something with the error. Error is the ar argument passed to the reject method. Okay, so whereas with um, then we had a result, with catch we have an error. Note that then and catch methods can be chained to the promise declaration if you choose. Add the catch method to your promise. Use error as the parameter of its callback and callback function and log the error. So here we're going to say dot uh, catch and then the parameter is going to be error and that's going to be equal to uh, the console.log, and we're going to console log that error. Run the tests, and we can see that they passed. So this is just a similar thing to this guy. Remember, in the previous lesson, we did then, and we did result. We set that equal to um, we did console.log the result. And so, yeah, this is how we make asynchronous calls. Um, I don't think that this will break the test. Obviously, this isn't, or not obviously, but this isn't required for this one. We've already passed the tests. But yeah, now we've got, we're writing some asynchronous JavaScript code. And so that handles the ES6 uh, curriculum. I hope you guys enjoyed these, and uh, we'll see you in the next section. Thanks for watching.